an army marches on its stomach. But as the Israeli military mobilizes over 360,000 reservists, keeping every soldier fed and fighting fit is a major challenge. Last week, this restaurant was doing business in peace, but now it's a kitchen for the troops. Right now what we're trying to do is understand the needs and what is needed and not what is wanted. Um, so we're supplying what's needed um, and we're working, we've built a whole headquarters which takes from the fields exactly what's needed and we're working with 90 other different restaurants all over the country. We're working with them, the logistical side of bringing a driver to come pick it up and to take it to the right place um, and it's all volunteers. As the IDF activates hundreds of thousands of reservists and sends soldiers to all corners of the country to defend itself, it is requiring civilians to step up and provide supplies. In this volunteer kitchen, over 30,000 meals a day are being sent out to feed the troops all over the country. Volunteers from across Tel Aviv have flocked here to cook, pack and deliver meals to the front lines. We are packing uh, food for uh, soldiers and uh, people from the south and we came here, we've been here all week. There's nothing we can do right now, we're in war, we just want to do good to people and the soldiers and tell them thanks that they're watching us and taking care of us while we're here. As the IDF fights on several fronts and struggles to maintain its supply chains, these kitchens are doing all they can to sustain them. Charlie Peters. GB News, Israel.